What is going on guys, FrostHD here and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to be bringing you guys the second Rocket League trading series on this channel. In this series I'll be trading my way up from a mainframe black market decal to the dissolver black market decal. If this is the first trading video you have watched of mine, i previously done a series in which I traded my way up from a player's choice crate to the mainframe black market decal. The mainframe which I traded my way up from from the last series will be the starting point of this series. So it'll kind of be like I'm carrying the series on. But before I get into the first trade I just got to ask you guys to like and subscribe if you haven't already please it takes two seconds and it just helps me out so much but apart from that let's get straight into the first trade to kick things off i traded my mainframe decal for a pair of forest green dracos three pcc crates and a purple royal crown the mainframe is selling for around eight keys and i knew i could find a buyer who would pay nine keys for the dracos so i was really happy to take this deal For the next trade, I gave this guy my Forest Green Dracos for a Turtle Certified Parallax, a pair of Titanium White Raging Wheels and a pair of Cobalt Infiniums. I instantly took this offer as I knew for a fact I could get at least 5-6 to six keys for both Raging Wheels and Parallax. So that trade is giving me a free key profit and whatever I get for the Infiniums is just a bonus. In this trade, this guy gave me 12 keys for the White Ragings and the Parallax. I instantly took this offer as I knew that 6 keys was the maximum price for both items. Next up, the guy who just gave me 12 keys for the Parallax and Raging Wheels, he saw I had the Infinium Wheels and wanted to make an offer of 2 keys. I instantly accepted this offer as it took my profit from the Draco trade from 3 keys to 5 keys. In this trade I simply just flipped the Royal Crown for 2 Zephyr Crates. Next up I made a little bit of profit on this trade as I swapped my two Zephyr crates for four Elevation crates. I instantly took this deal as the Elevation crates are newer than the Zephyr crates, which means there will be a higher demand for them. From the first black market trade of the series, I gave this guy 8 keys, 4 elevation crates and a PCC crate for a 20XX. Looking back at this trade, I think I could have got the 20XX without putting the crates in, but at least I didn't lose as much profit as what I could have done. For the 20XX, this guy offered me 8 keys and a sky blue halo. I instantly took this offer as I reckon I could get around a key for the halo, so that's a key profit. Moving on, I offered this guy 11 keys and my sky blue halo for a heatwave. I used the halo instead of 12 keys as I was struggling to find a buyer who would buy it for 1 key. I simply just flipped the heat wave back for 12 keys. I probably could have found a buyer who would have paid 13 keys, but I would have had to wait ages, so I wasn't too fussed on breaking even. Next up, I picked up a wet paint, black streak wave, and a black lone wolf for 4 keys and 2 PCCs. I took this deal as wet paint on its own is 4 keys, and I'm hoping to get 1 key each on both the other decals. Moving on, I traded this guy a wet paint and 3 keys for a pair of Nitro Forest Green Dracos. I only ended up paying 7 keys for these Dracos, and because of the crate they are from, I'm hoping to find a buyer who will pay at least 8 or 9 keys. Up next, I did a trade of 5 PCCs for my Black Lone Wolf. I really struggled to find a buyer who would pay a key, so I was happy to settle with 5 PCCs as I wouldn't be really losing any profit. Moving swiftly on to the next trade, I traded my streak wave for a key. I 100% took this deal as at the minute people are only offering around 7 to 8 PCCs, so I was really happy with this trade. Next up, I finally found a buyer who is willing to pay 9 keys for my forest green Dracos. I was very happy with this deal because at the time of recording, people were only offering around 8 keys. Moving on to the second last trade of the episode, I offered this guy 6 keys for a pair of inverted crimson grip strides. I was very comfortable about doing this trade as I knew I'd be able to find a buyer who'd be willing to pay 7 keys. For the last trade of the episode, I instantly found a buyer who'd be willing to pay 7 keys for the grip strides. You may see me trading this item a lot in the future. So 
So just to recap on how the episode went, I started off with a mainframe which is around 8 keys, and I'm currently sitting at 19 keys and 5 PCCs. So in this episode alone I've made 11 keys profit and I'm getting closer and closer to getting that dissolver. But that's the end of the video guys, if you did enjoy, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, but apart from that I'll speak to you guys in the next video, peace. Girls going wild in the water, girls going wild in the water, made a couple hearts on my quarter, trying to turn a kid into a baller, cooking up a jaw in that pasta, cooking up a jaw in that pasta, all these broke niggas need a bath you ain't in the field you're an actor, girls